Hi everyone, let's take a look at number 16 on page 400. A vector in three-dimensional space makes equal angles with the coordinate axis. Determine the size of each of these angles if the angles are acute, obtuse. Step one, draw a diagram. If you draw a vector in such a way that it will make the same angle with respect to the x, y, z axis respectively, it's going to look something like this. So there's the vector. And the angles are alpha, beta, and gamma respectively. So if you go back to the first sentence, we're going to highlight this, equal angles. This means in part A, and we'll draw a line in the middle, we'll divide this into uh, two different columns. The fact that they're equal angles, this means alpha equals to beta, which equals to gamma. So what this means is if you go back to the formula, cosine alpha equals to a divided by the square root of a square plus b square plus c square. Now, you could do this in one of two ways. One possible method is to write down cosine square alpha plus cosine square beta plus cosine square gamma equals to 1. And use the fact that alpha, beta, gamma are the same, which means this becomes cos square alpha plus cos square alpha plus cos square alpha equals to 1. This means if 3 times cosine square alpha, which equals to 1, or cosine square alpha equals to 1 over 3. Normally, when you find a square root, there are two cases, but since you want the acute angle, you can dismiss the negative case, which is the second part when they're asking for the obtuse angle. So cosine alpha equals to 1 divided by the square root of 3. When you work this out with a calculator in degree mode and you round the answer to one decimal place, alpha is going to be 54.7 degrees, which equals to beta, which equals to gamma. Now, that's not the only approach, of course. Uh, a second approach could have been looking at the diagram and understanding that alpha, beta, gamma are equal, which means if you look at the values of a, b, and c, they have to be equal as well. So when you project this onto the three axes respectively, a equals to b, which equals to c. So you could also go back from here and write down the fact that cosine alpha equals to a divided by the square root of a square plus a square plus a square. And again, cosine alpha equals to a divided by the square root of 3a squared, which means cosine alpha is going to give you 1 over root 3. So likewise, you're still going to end up with the same answer. Alpha is going to be 54.7 degrees, which is the same value for beta and gamma, respectively. Now, in part B, they're asking you for the obtuse angle. So you could draw a diagram and extend this by drawing it in the opposite direction. So they have the same magnitudes, except you're now looking at the obtuse angle. So either you can go back to the first method or to the second method. It's really up to you. Uh, but what happens is in part B, you're essentially calculating the cosine of 180 degrees minus alpha, which equals to 1 over root 3. So again, when you work this out, 180 degrees minus alpha it's going to be approximately 54.7 degrees. You can bring negative alpha to the right. That becomes positive alpha. You can bring 54.7 degrees to the left, which means you're now subtracting. So therefore, alpha or beta or gamma is going to be approximately 
125.3 degrees. I hope this makes sense.